Please, sir, release my son. No. Lestrade, I have a suspect in our case. It's Percy Fleming. Can you apprehend him? I'll give the order to the constables. So easy. <laughs> Inspector, we have the second suspect for you. Now, just admit that Scotland Yard is looking after you well, eh? Well, yeah. I'd be of little use to you dead. I'll admit that. Does he have any things? It looks like encrypted records. A spintria used in the brothels of ancient Rome. Mm -hmm. Well, that's rather tasteless. Wait, wait, let, let me look at the... Again, I didn't see what it was looking like. It's a... just a woman? Galleon? A mermaid, I think? Gonna go there now. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. A good day to you, Percy the Dart Fleming. Huh. It's the flopper. Oh, flopper. what a pimp. <laughs> You're aware of what happened to Baker Street the other night. I'd say I'm a little luckier than that. Well, I don't give a fig. Alibi for that night? What were you oh, doing two nights ago around 1 a.m.? I was at the White Swan. The White Swan? The brothel that you own. That can't be counted as an alibi. What do I need an alibi for? What's this note? I don't know. It was among <laughs> your belongings. So what? Does the name Jeremiah ring any bells with you? It's the first time I've heard it. Yeah, you friend him. Uh. How about this threatening letter that bears your name? Oh, I remember now. A threat? Come on. Just a reminder for him to pay his debts. It's just a small one, and it's a matter of principle. How do you know him? Ah, oh, he's always coming around, begging for odd jobs. But he just talks rubbish. He's off his head. Do you have any business with Jack the Hammer Cole? I have. He sometimes provides my business with girls. But he's stupid. A hot-headed clown. Yeah. I'd be worried about him if I were you. Yes? He told me what you did to his brother. And, <laughs> well, let's just say he hates you. Keep forgetting about this gang warfare, beating in childhood. Nah, it looks new. That's just fashion. He has blood stings. Yeah, that's the prison tattoo, I would say. Oh, nice rings. Percy Fleming, also known as the Dart. 
is a leader of the well wolf. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm saying it right or pronouncing it right. And owner of several brothels. Uh, Fleming's business is going well. He is an uh, affluent man. Fleming is a fashionable and eccentric man who takes care of himself. The scar on his face bears witness to his participation participation on gang warfare. The dart spent seven years in Westgate prison and was only recently released. Yeah. What is this? Okay. Now what? Why does it keep saying that? It's something here. I guess it's this, because I'm wrong about that. Please, escort this suspect for interrogation. Tell me about the business that you have with Percy Fleming. What? I don't have any business with him. No? Oh. Well, you supply girls to his institution. He's confessed. Well, he's a liar. Oi, why did you tell them I supply girls to your brothel? Eh? What are you talking about? <laughs> Is this gonna take long? Can I help you, Mr. Holmes? What's the reason for my arrest? This is an outrage. What can I do now? Fritz, the dart threatened to take your master to the brothel. Hmm. How can I help you, Mr. Holmes? I don't know. Is there something... Search the archives for that, okay. So let's go to Baker Street. Right again. A very long ride. There we go. So 
use the archives. Black screen again. Hmm, the text is encrypted. If it's Caesar's shift code, it might be easily deciphered. Elementary. Oh. <laughs> now what? It's a notebook filled with debts. And Jeremiah's name is on the list. Oh, we haven't fixed the window yet. Get into the cab, quickly! Oh, again. That well, I guess it would make sense if they also try to kill him because they think he is Sherlock Holmes. But I can't figure out if he is trying to... Orson Wiles, if he's trying to... Uh, sabotage me? I should find my a way investigation, to get or if he's just stupid? Why a graveyard? Trace him. Just walking in a square. That was level one. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. trying to go that way instead I regret I
I like this part, but it also seems so old. <laughs> I mean, it's like... How do I describe it? Like, uh, it's kind of like playing the uh, Harry Potter and uh, Philosopher's Stone PlayStation 1 or something like that. Where you have to uh, go through the library, not being uh, seen by Filch. And this game is not that old again, uh, 2016. Oh fuck's sake. I think I have to go around him. Down this way. What? For fuck's sake! Something, something moved. Yeah. Ah! Don't say I have to go from the beginning. That's oh, the beginning. How fun this game is! Uh, maybe I can walk fast. I heard something. Nope. Something moved. Yeah. You. <laughs> Oh, shit. The thing is, I don't know where the fuck are, and I can't... Uh, well, now I know, but... This should have, like, a checkpoint for every time you, you cross one. And then it just gets annoyed to play. Why are they even guarding? I mean, it's an old graveyard. Who do they expect? Me? No, they 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 can't expect me because they already caught Sherlock Holmes. They think. That's bullshit. Oh fuck off! Huh? Something move. Yeah, I'm right here, you stupid. This is... Oh my god, this is bullshit. I'm so close to skip it, but I also want to complete it. And I think it's faster if I can, like, go around him here, maybe? I can't. See nothing. I'm too fast for you. I was fucking stuck there, that's stupid. No, I'm skipping it, fuck this. Do you want to skip it? Yeah! Shut 
Those are the scratches. There was a fight here. Orson attempted to resist, but someone or something convinced him otherwise. Uh. Oh. We are close to the end. That's good. Oh, I have to walk on. I have to balance up there. I know it. Also, the game it's. I, I would say uh, really has. Uh, Hard to find the right um, level of how hard things are. Some are very easy, some are too hard. They're walking like zombies. Cousins out fighting bobbies and stealing antiques, and what do I get? Guard duty. Relax, Mike. You got to earn it first. How long will that take? Two years already, and nothing's changed. I know, mate, but one of these days, I'm sure the boss will notice us. I heard something. You gotta be kidding me. Huh? That's right. I heard something. Oh, you fucker. Huh? Oh, man. I don't know how I got through that. Uh, do they see me up here? now ah. oh a door hmm. no. shit 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 Okay, so when he comes around, I have to go around there, I guess. This shape matches part of the uniform of the Greek sentinel. I highly doubt that it's authentic. Uh, 
What do I do now? There's also one there. Can I cross? The sound of a gong will attract the guards. I need to be careful. I think that's it. <laughs> hey, but what? <laughs> no, what? <clears throat> we need to get out of here. That. Wasn't right. Hmm. Okay, then there's something. There's something with him, Oscar Wilde. No doubt about that. Here. Sleeping again. What's happened, Mr. Holmes? <laughs> We've come from the abandoned St. Patrick's Abbey. I uncovered a gang of armed bandits there who did their best to kill me. Again? I'll send our best team to arrest them. Well, I doubt that you'll find anyone left, but if you hurry up, you might just find the spoils left over from their burglaries. I see. And I'd be very grateful if you could keep an eye on Mr. Wilde here. But Holmes! No bud. Why, please try to remember. Yeah, the slightest detail, etc. Well, apart from the smell of those bandits who kidnapped me, yeah, nothing special. And this Jeremiah was spending his time complaining about working for the fart. I think you mean the dog. Yeah, whatever. Jeremiah said that they should all wait till the fart was released. Uh, makes no sense, right? <laughs> Mr. Holmes, can we go home? Let's see. Uh, Jeremiah's death. That's right. Uh. Yeah, yeah, I think he's the attacker. Let's see. Son and Jeremiah. Not a cant. Put it together with someone. Okay, let's see. Dips. Uh, Jeremiah. 
owed Percy Fleming a large sum of money, but Percy did not want to accept any connection. Uh, Jeremiah's dead doesn't kill anyone. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. We have uh, the tavern and the Austin Jeremiah. Yes. Yes. Damn, uh, it's hard to. <laughs> it's it's pretty much just uh, one plus one is two, but it is the. I need to just find the right one that fits together. Uh, Fred's the dart friend too. No. There's something about awesome we need to... Yeah. Fleming's motive. Cole's motive. The bomb maker. Well, Jeremy was the bomb maker, so... Uh, I would call that murder. There was no doubt about that. So let's just assume that he is. Has to be that ambush also is a fair nice at the pro Hmm can't really Let's get back to the clues. Okay, so we have visit, visit, visit. Okay, so we have these two. Then we have the And Fritz. It's possible that Percy, the Dart Fleming, used Jeremiah for his dirty work because of the latter steps. Fleming no longer needs the money back. Or. Uh, yeah, I guess that. Nothing fits together. 
Oh, it's not your Mario. Yeah. Ah. But they do belong because uh, Orson is living with me. Um. Yeah. Orson testifies that Jeremiah works for Percy Duff Living sounds trustworthy. Or oh, Orson is lying about the doubt he stated that Jeremiah was working for Percy. Could be a lie. What are the two visit the man? Yeah, I guess they do belong. Let's see. Um, Jeremiah visited Jack the Hammer Cole to discuss the attempted assassination of Sherlock Holmes and to discuss the next stage of the plan. Yeah, Jeremiah visited Jack the Hammer Cole only to bring a bag of containing stolen items properly to sell. Oh, that's hard. I do believe in uh, Jack the Hammer Cole that he... It was just items he was selling. But they were also talking about the as a nation of me. Okay, that doesn't so let's Mr. Holmes, can we go home? I need a rep. Uh, so I need some more. Okay, so he can be guilty, or we can go the other way and uh, and blame them. But it's I, I really believe he's guilty. So let's go with that one. Okay, Austin Wilde is guilty. Austin Wilde is obsessed with the idea of being Sherlock Holmes. He hired Jeremiah to kill Holmes with the intentions of taking over his persona. When the plan failed, Orson Wilde killed Jeremiah as an unnecessary witness. So we can choose uh, Condeen Orson Wells, Orson Wilde, not Wells. <laughs> Orson Wilde's Wilde is a cold-blooded murderer who would not hesitate to sacrifice lives in order to uh, achieve his twisted goals. He must be punished by the law and all its rigor. Absolve Austin Wilde. Austin Wilde is suffering from a dissociative identity disorder. He believes that he is Sherlock Holmes. We should send him to the hospital for appropriate treatment. He cannot be held responsible for his crime. That's really hard. I think... I agree more with the right uh, absolve Austin Wilde, but I think he... He can be uh, held responsible for his crime. But I think he should, uh, the hospital is the right way, but if we go back in that time, then he has to go with the law. So I'm gonna condemn Austin Wilde. 
Confirm your moral choice? Yes. Mr. Holmes, I'm grateful to you for the opportunity to experience all of these superb sights and smells of criminal life. But I think I've had enough now. What was the reason for Jeremiah Thorne's death? Are you joking? Put your deductive skills to work. Self-defense, my dear Watson. That's quite enough, Wilde. I know that you were guilty of the attempt made on my life and of the murder of Jeremiah Thorne. Holmes, you're my best friend. Why are you doing this? Oh, stop all this. The case is solved. You came to my house for the sole purpose of taking my life. In addition, you hired Jeremiah to do your dirty work. And when you realized his failure, you murdered him to conceal any traces of the crime. There's no chance of you avoiding the gallows. Gallows? Ha! <laughs> Absolutely not. That would mess up my hair. Also, while this cold-blooded murder, who would not, uh... Hesitate to sacrifice lives in order to achieve his twists. You have decided that he must be punished by the law and all its rigor. Yeah. Uh, let me check conclusion. So that's red. So that means I picked the wrong. Conclusion or uh, sentence? I'm fine with this, so I'm gonna accept it. I agree. Oh, now we go into chain reaction. <laughs> the last chapter, but I'm gonna end it here. And take this one another day. The final chapter. I think it was okay this chapter uh, in Fami, but uh, I still have problem with the game. But it was nice with a break, so... That I can uh, be more interested in the game again. Kind of lost interest in it. But yeah, I'm gonna end it now and uh, thank you for watching this uh, chapter if you've seen them all or the rest so far. See you in the next case.